Hey my friends, this is Majorica and this video is to talk about something serious. Something I started last year and it's explained my side of the story. I was one of the victims of a troll that, mostly known as Big Bird, who was came, came after multiple members of the POTS community, mocking them, personating them with fake accounts, stealing content, and cyberbullying them. Because of this drama, Sparky was accused of being Big Bird. And this caused him to leave the Milk Cord server and start his own server called Sparks Cord. After I watched his video regarding the drama in the server, I didn't want to believe it, it was him. Because why would he mock himself in those videos? As more time passes, Big Bird continued to harass the POTS community even more, ignoring all occasions from the victims to stop trolling them. He was terminated for stealing videos from POTS14, but then he made the same account where he uploaded all the mockery videos, except for videos that belonged to other users. Then he made over 48 fake accounts to continue trolling them relentlessly, even impersonate them. When Sparky made SparksCar2, I joined that server. He made over 48 rules in that server, the server was mostly dead, because there were not many people in the server. I uploaded some gaming videos including World War Z, Nevis B Rivals, Far Cry 5, Zombie Army 4, and Dead by Daylight on my YouTube channel. And days, after, days later, I suddenly got attacked by the fake ports, leaving hate comments on my videos. And after that, fake Ian left some negative comments, using Ian's words that he wrote on one of Sparky's ports of mod videos saying, Vulgar awful video, how you manage to play it full? At that point, I knew he was, I was his next target. I knew he was going to make a fake account of me. My worries were confirmed. He didn't make a fake account on me. One of the Big Bird's accounts named Rancid Fucking Ricky joined the server, events DDoS the, DDoS the server, and starts spamming Chevron McDonald's. I, qu I quickly banned banned him from the server, but after a while he firmly requested me on Discord. I told the community about this and Rancid, Rancid told me to accept it. So Big Bird invited me to the Big Bird server. I prepared for the worst, but all that was there was a few spam messages of pictures of Chapman and McDonald's. I then blocked him because I didn't want him calling me up at the worst moments. When Puts was streaming this game called Billionaire Road, Fake Majoric came in saying, I'm the real Majoric. Sparky mentioned this, in the, mentioned this in the server, so I quickly went in the stream to warn the people that he, he was Big Bird. Because he was trying to set me up. Thankfully someone banned him. I didn't have a profile picture at that time because it was just a default picture with the colour dark pink. His profile picture was blue. Rancid then told me to change my profile picture and warn the community, so I booted up this PC called this game called Burnout Paradise and picked one of the vehicles in the game and took a screenshot of it and set it as my profile picture. There was another account named Tiana Shit Tuneless who made a video which is very fucking disgraceful. The video was named Tiana Gets Naked. It showed a woman undressing herself. The whole video which violates YouTube guidelines, and it got taken down twice. But we uploaded it with a description that said, Fuck off YouTube. After playing Grand Theft Auto 5 with my mate, I decided to use the Skull Channel of Sparks Core 2, which is useful ranting. Because something happened again that really made me lose my temper. But after I did that, I got attacked again by five different accounts with the separate comments on one of my videos. I realised that Big Bird was in the server, because Sparky leaves invite links in his videos to join his server and that's the reason why he's in. Then Fakey I uploaded another video, playing Team Fortress 2, while he was playing one of Rancid's videos on his microphone. Rancid saw this and he, he told us in a staff chat, that he was going to copyright strike him for stealing the audio from one of his videos. Then he suddenly gets a comment from Fakey um, that says, You threatened to copyright strike me. 
That's when we started suspecting it was it was Sparky being Big Bird the whole time. There was only six of us in the staff chat. Me, Sonic Fan eighty one, a B, Ranted Wiki, Tiana, and Sparky. Ranted then showed um, pictures of his conversation with Sparky after this incident with uh, a B. What he said was absolutely immature. He said, "He said I want to burn her beehive." And other um, other quotes that um, basically threaten her, threatening her life, which is absolutely disgraceful. And yes, this is a man we're talking about about here, a grown man. He had multiple occasions to explain what happened on his side of the story, but every opportunity he got, he just said, I don't want to talk about it. Leave me alone. When you don't explain your side of the story, when they need to find out what happened in this kind of situation, it's an example that you're hiding something. Now it all seems clear that you're trying to get us to feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for you. But I found out about this. I've even felt sorry to Cohen. Because he had to go... He had to go through so much of this shit. And why is there a picture of you... Holding a BB gun on your head? Not to mention that the video you, you posted on YouTube... That was moved. Of you crying while you are playing the... Um, Zuma game going on about Big Bird and crap. After that, you you said in the, in the um, server chat that you were gonna throw yourself out for Cliff. Where's the fucking Cliff? Get those fucking demons out of my head. Fucking suicide threats like that. It's really pathetic, and that's an indication that you're just attention seeking. You are a grown man. You need to start acting like one. You need to start moving on. You need to get help as well. Because the things you did just makes it just questions everyone about your damn mental state. You owe everyone an apology, mostly with a B. What you said against her is disrespectful. 100% A grown man does not say these things to a person It'd be if you're watching this video, I'm giving you full permission to copy this video Because I'm not planning on um, keeping this video for long So that's all I gotta say, so I'll see you guys next time